Hi there, John here from Machubus Cliff. I'm on my family farm. I've decided to come and take a little bit of a chill after the first three months of the year have been super hectic. I'm sure you'll all agree. It almost feels like we've been in a washing machine of sorts. And so I just decided I need some time out. So I'm here in Machubus Cliff, which is just absolutely outstanding. And being with my family is always such a winner. So I'm preparing for my week ahead. And I was thinking about and reflecting about last week and doing the masterclasses that I did with some organizations and wanted to share three things that I think that are important to take into account as we go through a transformation, a transition, this sort of old world into this new world, which is what I've written about in my last book. And I'm actually going to write about again in my new book called 10,000 Days. The first one is new input. And what I mean by this is if you're continuously taking in the same routine as you did the week before, engaging with the same information you did the week before, you're only going to have a week similar to the previous one. And so new input always equals new output, which is kind of obvious, but most people don't put themselves out there enough to hear new things. So I'm constantly reading new things, um, reading, uh, reading Adam Grant's new book, Think Again, listening to podcasts continuously, and just this constant input brings about a lot of new output. The second thing is measuring new goals. I saw this amazing thing, this organization, and uh, I actually don't know where they are. I think they're in the States they are giving bonuses to their employees for sleeping well. So they're tracking their employees' sleep, and the better you sleep, the more bonus you get. And I thought that was so brilliant because we all know from a good night's sleep, we have so much more creativity and so much more energy to do what we need to do. And that was just a small example of coming out of this COVID idea, realizing that the hustle culture isn't really what it's all made out to be, and rest, recuperation, and rethinking uh, what's really successful matters. So really measuring new goals. For me, they are really trying out, experimenting, and iterating new things um, until we come out of COVID properly. And again, I can start building more global and more expansive goals for myself. And the third one is massive doses of patience. I think that many of us are fatigued at the amount of time that we've been spending at home, not being given the freedom to do what we used to do before. And we are all fatigued and many people are impatient with going back or becoming a little bit angsty. So while I'm building new teams, while I'm bringing new input, while I'm writing my new book, I'm also practicing a lot of patience with people around me, with new pricing structures in my businesses, with things being topsy-turvy. And as I speak about transformation as three stages, sad, strange, and the adventure. And right now we're in sad and strange and we need massive doses of patience. So new input for the week, um, bringing about more patience and discovering new goals. Set new goals so you can have small wins and allow your dopamine to be released when we're achieving those smaller goals rather than just the big ones. I hope you have a great week. I say bye from amazing Machubas Kluif. Ciao.